Hey everybody, this video is going to be a lesson on how to play the guitar solo from Impossible Germany by Wilco. The specific version that I covered and that I'm going to be teaching is the version from the Ashes of American Flags concert DVD because that's the first version I heard and I think it's incredible and I just had to do it. So I've only done one other lesson video on this channel, but I think the way to do this that would make sense to me if I were looking for a lesson is I'm going to play you a section at full speed and then I will play it a lot slower and exaggerate my finger movements. So hopefully you can see what frets I'm hitting. Solo starts like... First note you hit, it's a hammer-on on the B string from an A to a B on the 12th fret. Easy. Cool. All right, then we slide down from the 12th to the 8th fret on the B string. Then on the G, we hammer on from a B to a C. Back to a slide on on the B string from an A to a B. Hammer on again. Now on the high E string, we go. So frets 10, 7, 12. Then all the way up here, we're going to hit the notes G, B, G, frets 15, 19, and 15. And when you do that, give it a nice whammy bar if you have one. Then it goes, this is such a little television uh, Tom Verlaine lick here. He goes. So it goes G, F sharp, E, and then on the B string, it's a B. So back in the G string, we're doing, instead of going, you bend those notes from a B to a C. So it's. And throw in a little slide from that A to the B. So it sounds like this. Then there's this sweet little riff here. Easy enough. On the B string, I'll try and exaggerate my movements here. Just follow along. Then comes this next section, which you have to have nice big stretchy, you gotta do this big stretch to play this. So it goes. Those notes are. B, G, and E. I play it down here. I guess you could play that with the open string too, like. Next one is up here. It's also a G chord we're outlining. The notes are D, B, and G. So it's... Then the next chord we're outlining is in A minor. So the notes are E, C, and A. Then comes this tricky little run. This was one of the first sections of the song that I thought was hard. It took me a little bit of practicing to get up to speed on this. Uh, let's try not to mess this up at full speed. It goes like this. Let's hear that again. So essentially, you're just outlining a G major 7 chord. So if you don't know how to do that, so you know your usual E shaped G chord here on the third fret. It's those notes, but this G becomes an F sharp and it looks like this. And the way this is played is I'll play it slow for you.
Then there's this fun little part. Played like this. Here's another tricky part up here. So you come back up to the 12th fret. The way I do this is helps if you just bar your finger across the top three strings on the 12th fret. It goes. Very jazzy, very cool. So I think the notes in E minor and G major up here. Bar across the top three strings on the 12th fret and it goes like this. Then there's this fun floaty little section. So that's just, you have a little power chord here with a D and an A. So you start on the A. And when you come back, you lift the A up so it's a G. So it's D, A, and G, all played right here. Then a D octave up. Slide down. From this point on, I feel the song gets very tricky. This little riff at full speed looks like. So again, we have a. It's a C shaped G chord here up on the seventh fret. Probably know this one. And starting here, eighth fret on the B string, you go. The only note that's out of key there, not out of key, but like a passing note, a, the, the tricky note here is, it's a B flat note and you're sliding in to a B. So it's this next part, also tricky. Like that. That's the riff at full speed. Here it is broken down. This section starts on the C note on the G string. I'll go nice and slow. Here comes this other fast little part. Really fun once you get the hang of it though. You start all the way up here. The notes are B, A, G, E, G. You do that three times, sounds like this. Played slow. That's a triple note pull off there, so it's a little hard. You gotta hit it nice and hard and then with your just your just your fret fingers make the other note happen. Here comes the slide down part. The note you end on is the D, all the way down here on the B string. You could also play it here on the G string if you want. I'll try and do that at full speed once again, just so you get the context. Probably gonna mess this up. Close enough. 
Not as hard as it seems. Again, mostly we're just outlining a G major 7 chord. Goes like this. Once more. This next part goes like this. B, A, and slide up on the D. Big jump here from the D to the G. These still get the double picks. For this next section, the actual notes you'll be tremolo picking aren't that hard. The notes are... Again, just the usual notes we've been playing, but Nels Klein does it with the... Slowly, it would look like this. Then comes a very fast little pull-off twiddle run down the neck. Sounds like this. Played nice and slowly, this little run down the neck goes like this. For the first part, we're just focusing on the, t uh, the high E string here. So you start on the A note all the way up here and you go that's all just the notes in the the G major slash E minor scale and again it's really fast on the recording Nels Klein is going nuts at this point it's kind of hard to hear but that little phrase ends on which is just Then there's this jump here. Again, maybe there's a better way to play this, but this is what I did. It's B, D, bend that. From the B, you go end on a G. It's a pretty simple little lick there. Then you go. That's, those notes are just F sharp, G, and A. Then comes the cool riff. The notes are Then comes this other cool riff, which is just And that's at the point in the song where the other two guitarists come in, and it gets a little hard to hear exactly what Nels Klein is doing on his guitar because there's three or four other guitars in the mix all playing that. Th that riff is doubled or tripled and someone else is playing chords and he's doing a solo. So it gets a little hard to hear the specifics of what he's doing, but I worked it out best I could. The first lick Nels does after that is... So that's again just this... This G shape right here. Start on the C, come down. That's just down the scale from a C to a G. Then it goes. You can play that one of two ways. You can you can go here. Or you can do it all in one string, which is I like this way. It's less less finger movement. So those notes are G A B and then a G to an A. Now 
So then he does a nice little punchy bend up to a C. This part goes like this. And that ends on the D note on the G string. So it's... Then he does a, another punchy little bend up to a D. This one's even more snappy. Gotta be snappy with that one. And I think on the recording, he seems to hit... He seems to hit a D harmonic right after that, like on the 12th fret. Then it's again, it gets a little hard to hear there, but I think he goes... And it ends on an A, and he, or he bends to an A, whatever. But it's an A note, and he just bends the crap out of it, either with the whammy bar or his fingers. So I, I went... <laughs> then you have a brief second before Nels joins in with that repeating guitar riff throughout the end of the solo. And he joins in, starting on a G note, like this. Those notes are G, E, G, to B there, and on an A. Immediately after that, Nell repeats this riff that we heard earlier in the solo, but it's quicker. And he bend up nice and easy, and then do that thing again without bending. So it's... So one bend up and one stop. Then you go. This next part, again, I'm going to say this a lot. I had a little hard time hearing exactly what he was doing here because there was so much going on. But to me, it sounded like this. I think he's going and playing around with the open uh, G string there. So it's. When you do the uh, A and then the open G, just bend the crap out of it. Next little section. It's very fast and, and a pretty aggressive playing. He bends to B, F sharp, G, A. So it looks like... This next little run goes like this. Start on the C, up on the high E string. So the only little tricky part here is you go, that's easy, that's C, B, A, and then you go, B, A, E. So you slide all the way down there, you go, just, just one big pull off. You got, you got to really work the fingers on the fretboard for this. And then that last part is G E B D. And then the last part before it gets crazy. It's a very simple. The notes are D. B, G on the 12th fret, and then open G. And again, when you hit the G on the 12th fret, just bend the crap out of it. So it's... Something like that. So the first big crazy bend he does is, is a C. So you can do it on the high E string and the B string, where you go... But what I did is up here on the B and G strings, like this. And it helps too if you want to pick in with the rhythm of the song and maybe do some... Like that, you know, throw in some, some bends to accent it. Do that until he does the same thing, two frets up. Bends to a D. Then 
you get that idea. Next note, he bends up to a G. Nels Klein in the video is doing something. He's doing something. I don't know what, can't even hear to this point. So what I was throwing in was just some I mean, this gets a little tricky, but you hold the bend. And then with the pinky, I was hitting fret 19, which is a B note. So it's, that was my way of doing it. Then get the timing right and join the other background guitars in with the riff. Same riff down here. But you play it up here, up an octave. We're almost done. And he goes. Those notes are just D, F sharp, and G. That's just an A minor shape. So the notes are E, C, and A, played in the first three strings up here. So you hold that shape. And with your pinky, you hit the G note up here, pull off to the E, and then big stretchy up here to the A note. Hard to do holding a guitar like this, but I'll try. Now we're finally at the end of the song. We finish with this. So that part starts off with the notes D, F sharp, G. Then slide up to the B. So it's one of those B, A, G, E pull-offs. Hit that E twice. End on the A and bend the crap out of it. Because this is the last note, you gotta mean it. So that's the end of Nels Klein's part. Uh, the little riff the other guitars are playing, it's G, E, G, B, G, E, G, A. So there you go, that's the lesson. That's my method for how to play Nels Klein solo on Impossible Germany by Wilco, specifically the version off the Ashes of American Flags DVD. I say specifically that because he does a lot of improvisation in other versions of the solo live when I was looking him up. So if you look up a different version and say, hey, that's not what he's doing. Well, that's not what I'm teaching here. Um, I will leave a link to the original video in this comment just so we're all on the same page. But I hope this helps some of you out there. And if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment below and maybe I can help. Bye.